but I want to make the, the powerful case, I think, that has been developed by the campaign in Newborough in Fife. It's got huge local support, as is um, Newton Hill and Cove. Uh, they're united. Young and old are really motivated by this campaign, and it's gathered support from neighbouring communities as well, like Abernethy over into Perth and Kinross. Um, the low cost, I think high impact, is very clear in this case. It would mean a 12-minute journey to Lady Bank or to, to Perth. The railway line runs right through the borough. Um, they are proposing a modular station, which would be relatively low cost. And it's a part of Fife that's quite cut off from other parts. For those who don't know, it's right on the, the Tay estuary. And there's a big potential economic boost because it's not the wealthiest part of my constituency. And there's a big move now towards more estuary living. And this fits right into that uh, potential. So I think the economic boost that would be brought to that part of Fife would be significant. But the process is incredibly slow, especially for this low cost process. The, the budget that Cestrans has set aside for this has already been blown apart because of the extra requirements that's been placed upon them by Transport Scotland. They first submitted their stag um, in June 2022. It took six months for comments to come back from the government. They resubmitted their proposal and it took another six months for comments to come back and we're going on and on. I suspect that process will carry on for a very long time. And I, so I hope that the Minister would perhaps reflect on the fact that there seems to be a disproportionate time and cost involved for schemes that are actually relatively low cost, but again, quite a big impact. So I hope that we could perhaps adjust the process to make sure that schemes like Newborough have got a better chance of progressing much more quickly.